Oh my God, Francisco Lindor, the New York Mets, 10 years, $341 million. Uncle Stevie got it done. This is incredible, this is so awesome. I didn't make a full video on it just cause it didn't really deserve one, but you see my reaction now, I'm happy. Now for today's video, because it's opening day, which by the way, opening day, oh my God, this is just a fantastic day, but because it's opening day, let's have a little positivity going here. You saw the title of the video, so you know what you clicked on. One way, one reason how every single team in Major League Baseball can win the the World Series during the 2021 season. So yes, we're talking Pirates, we're talking Rangers, Rockies, we're talking Mets, Yankees, every single team gonna tell you how they can possibly win the World Series in 2021. So as always, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. That does always help support the channel. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, click that sub button, join the team. Get in the comment section down below. Let me know who you think is gonna win the World Series this year and make sure you drop me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, second channel, the Mets podcast. Links to everything is in the description down below. Now, I know all these reasons may not be the best. It may not guarantee a World Series win, but it's really hard. I'm trying to make a World Series case for every single team in Major League Baseball when we know every team is not a World Series contender. But keep in mind, every single one of these scenarios and situations are independent of one another, and these are like best case dream scenarios. So keep that in mind when you're watching. All right, so let's get it started off with the National League East. We're talking about my favorite team, the New York Mets. And Francisco Lindor puts up an MVP season. The Mets have a legitimate shot to win the World Series. If he's playing at an MVP caliber level, this is a team that looked really good the last few years. You add in an MVP shortstop, something that the Mets really haven't had in a very long time. This is a team that can be extremely competitive and I think has a chance to compete for the World Series. So Francisco Lindor competes at an MVP level, wins the MVP, the Mets win a World Series. The Atlanta Braves, a really good team, a World Series contender for sure. If they want to win it in the 2021 season, the young pitchers are going to have to step up. Ian Anderson, Mike Stroka, Max Fried, even guys like Bryce Wilson, Kyle Wright, Tuki Toussaint, if they can step up and really take over, this Brave team is going to be scary because they're pitching. That's kind of what everyone's sleeping on. If that can step up for them, this is going to be a hard team to beat. The Braves, there's a very good chance they can win the World Series. The Washington Nationals 2019 World Series champs, they can return to that World Series form if the pitching just comes back. Scherzer's back to a Cy Young level. Strasburg's at the Cy Young level. Patrick Corbin is one of the top pitchers in the league. Even John Lester gets back to being not just a serviceable starter, but a really good one. And Joe Ross shows the potential that we once saw in him. You get those five pitching well and healthy for a full year. The Nationals are going to be very competitive and so competitive that they could probably win a World Series. The bullpen's pretty decent. You still got Juan Soto, Trey Turner. There's a way that this team can win it all. Now for the Miami Marlins, we have to get a little creative here. And I'm going to say that the young players, their farm system that's loaded right now, they all come up and just absolutely go off. Ryan Anderson's there. He's going to be good. But we're talking J.J. Blade gets called up. We're talking Ed Edward Cabrera. We're talking about Trevor Rogers, Sixto Sanchez, Lewin Diaz, Jazz Chisholm, Monte Harrison, Lewis Brinson figures it out. I mean, all the young guys that have been prospects and been hyped up need to come out and ball out for the Marlins this year if they want the slightest chance at winning a World Series. For the fourth place Philadelphia Phillies, it's a little tough. It's going to be hard for them to win a World Series, but you know what? If Bryce Harper hits 60 home runs in a season, I'll include the postseason too. Why not? I think the Phillies are in a pretty good spot to be a World Series contender and probably even win it. I said it earlier in the video. Not all of these are going to possibly happen. It's not a guarantee, but we got to have a little bit of fun today on opening day. Keep the optimism high. And if you're a Phillies fan, you see Bryce Harper hit 60 homers. You're probably feeling pretty good about a World Series. Now to the American League East we go, starting it off with the New York Yankees. And for the Yankees, I think if Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton both play 150 games plus this year, that is a World Series team. We know how good their bullpen is. Their starters, they're going to be fine. And you could have probably said Kluber and Tyone are healthy. They can win it. But I truly believe if you can get 150 out of both Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton, this is the best team in the American League. They're going to be almost impossible to beat. If those guys are healthy, they're ridiculous. Boston Red Sox had to get real creative. The offense is there. The pitching? Maybe. Maybe Chris Sale comes back early from Tommy John and balls out. Maybe Nathan Evaldi goes back to that postseason performance type level. Eduardo Rodriguez continues to improve. Garrett Richards looks solid. Tanner Houck competing for a rookie of the year. The bullpen is strong. The Red Sox need their pitching to be clicking on all cylinders not to only just make the playoffs but to definitely win the World Series. For the Toronto Blue Jays not a strong pitching staff we know how good the offense is. I think if they go out and make a huge move for a guy like Luis Castillo at the trade deadline this is a team that can definitely win the World Series. They're gonna have Nate Pearson come back at some point he's gonna be strong. Steven Matz has looked good this spring which is crazy. Hinjin Ryu is a Cy Young candidate. They have a strong bullpen strong lineup. You get one more ace kind of pitcher this team's real scary. If they get Luis Castillo they can definitely win the World Series. Baltimore Orioles yes there's a way they can 
can do it. It's insane, but we're going to throw it out there. Adley Rushman gets called up early in the season and wins the MVP. And some of their pitching prospects like DL Hall and Grayson Rodriguez also get the call up very early. And they have Cy Young caliber years. The pitching, they've adapted a little bit of the Astros system in the past where you see the spin rates go up. And we've seen it with guys like Bruce Zimmerman this spring. The pitching is going to have to really step up. The young guys come up with a Cy Young. Adley Rushman wins MVP. Why not the Orioles? And then for the last team in the American League East, the Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays go out and make a huge splash trading for a big bat. Maybe you trade for a Eugenio Suarez to play third base. Maybe you trade for a big bat to go to first. Maybe you find a DH that can really put up some numbers for you. The Rays are missing that one huge bat in their lineup that I think could really be the difference between them being a great team and them being another World Series team. To the National League Central, we go St. Louis Cardinals. I think if the Cardinals young outfield steps up, which is surprising, you probably thought I'd go with pitching, but if you see Carlson, Bader, and O'Neill just have really, really good years and live up to the hype that we saw, play at all-star caliber levels, this is a Cardinal team that could win a World Series. They have some really good guts there with Arenado, Goldschmidt, the young, Flaherty, the strong bullpen. Those outfielders, those young guys can make or break this team. For the Chicago Cubs, no one's really expecting much out of them this year, but they still have the core there. Baez, Rizzo, Brian, Hap, Contreras. Go out and spend some money and get some pitching. I know you got rid of you, Darvish, so you're not going to bring him back, but you got Luis Castillo and Sonny Gray in your division. There's other pitchers that are going to be available on the market that can be of help. If they're contending, go spend some money, get pitchers, and go for it again. For the Pittsburgh Pirates, oh man, I'm sorry, Pirates fans. It's like almost impossible. So here's what it's going to have to take for the Pirates to win the World Series. They're going to need Major League Baseball to put in a rule change. And the rule change is going to be that the team with the most losses ends up winning the World Series. That's pretty much the only way the Pirates can do it. Sorry, Pirates fans, you know it's true. For the Cincinnati Reds to win the World Series, they're going to need driveline to juice up their pitchers. Not only Luis Castillo and Sonny Gray have to be shut down, but Tyler Maley, Molly, he has to be shut down. TJ Antone, Lucas Sims, everybody in the bullpen has got to be shut down. The Reds need a perfect season. Perfect. Along with a great offense to win the World Series. For the Milwaukee Brewers, go get a bat and go get a shortstop. Specifically, Trevor Story. To supplement Christian Yelich. Get him some help over there, please. The offense just isn't very strong. He might be a guy that's on the move this season. Go trade for Trevor Story right now. We've seen them make a big splash before. They grabbed Trevor Story to play shortstop. This is a team that's going to be close to a World Series contender. You know we're heading back to the American League Central now. Chicago White Sox. I mentioned this in my predictions video. Going to be a little tougher with Eloy out now, but if seven guys hit 30 plus homers on that team, they're going to be a World Series winner. I'm talking Grandal. I'm talking Abreu. I'm talking Anderson. I'm talking Mancata. I'm talking Andrew Vaughn. I'm talking Luis Robert. There's six right there. If they can find a seventh guy, they are going to be a World Series team. Is it going to happen? Probably not, but it's possible. Maybe. For the Minnesota Twins, they need Jose Barrios to have a side young year. Kenta Maeda is going to be good. The bullpen is solid. Jose Barrios needs to come and step up finally. Twins fans, you've been waiting for it forever. You know Jose Barrios should be a Cy Young level caliber pitcher. He hasn't shown it just yet for a full season. Could 2021 be the year? I don't know. But if he does, the Twins are in a good spot to win a World Series. For the Detroit Tigers, got a new manager in AJ Hinch. Maybe he brings over a little bit of that Astros magic that we saw from those World Series runs. Yeah, we're talking about cheating. I think the Tigers are going to need to bang on some trash cans to have any shot at winning the World Series in 2021. Kansas City Royals. I know I had them in fifth place, but I think with this roster in their bullpen, if the Royals go out and trade for a legitimate starting pitcher at the deadline, as long as they're competitive, this is a team that maybe could get on a hot run and be a World Series contender. Go get some legitimate starting pitching. The bullpen's good. The lineup's got some players. They need an ace. They just don't have one right now. And then for the last team in the American League Central, the Cleveland Indians, sorry to rub it in, Fuzzy, but you guys need to redo the Francisco Lindor trade and then this time actually pay him. You have Francisco Lindor on this team. This is a team that can compete. They need all the offensive help that they can get. The pitching's always going to be great from the starting pitching side. And in the bullpen, it's a little shaky, but you still got Karen Chat. Class is going to be coming back. You know they're going to get arms out there. They would need Francisco Lindor back to have a shot in 2021. And also make sure you pay him so that he's motivated. But we don't have to worry about that because the Mets gave him 10 years, 341 million. Woohoo! Uncle Stevie, thank you. Second to last division here, we've got the National League West. Starting off with the San Francisco Giants. The old stars get a little rejuvenation. They go back to their youth. Evan Longoria gets back to being a great player. Brandon Crawford, Brandon Belt, Buster Posey, Johnny Cueto. You get those five guys playing like they were in their primes again. It's a Giants team that's going to be really hard to beat. The Los Angeles Dodgers, it's simple. Stay healthy. If the Dodgers stay healthy in the 2021 season, they are going to be the World Series champions. It's as simple as that. The team is just physically too good. You added Trevor Bauer to the team that won the World Series last year. How do you beat them if they stay healthy? David Price is in the bullpen. Well, unbelievable. Mookie Betts, Cody Bellinger, Max 
Muncy, Corey Seager, Justin Turner, AJ Pollock, Will Smith, the list goes on and on. Walker Bueller, Clayton Kershaw. Oh, I'm just stay healthy and they win the World Series. For the San Diego Padres, I truly think it's this simple. Beat the Dodgers. If the Padres beat the Dodgers this year, they are going to be the World Series champions. Tatis, Machado, just like the Dodgers, they're loaded at every position. I'll keep going. Cronenworth, Hosmer, Van, Grisham, Myers. Behind the plate, you got Nola, Campusano. On the starting rotation side, you got Lamette, you got Paddock, you got Darvish, Snell, Musgrove, bullpens loaded. Beat the Dodgers, Padres are World Series champions. For the Colorado Rockies, yeah, this one's going to be really, really hard. I think if you want any possible chance at winning the World Series, you got to fire the GM. The trade that he did for Nolan Arenado is ridiculous. The moves he's been making are ridiculous. The GM for the Rockies has to go if you want even a slight 0.0001% chance at winning the World Series. Fire the GM. He's got to go. Foolish Baseball made an entire video about how bad the Rockies organization has been. That's how you know you've got a problem. And then the last team in the National League, the Arizona Dimebacks, had to think real long and hard for this one. We came up with they need to get good players. Besides Cattell Marte and maybe like Christian Walker, they're not bad. They just don't have really good players. Marte is a beast. Everyone else is kind of on the fringe. And same thing from the pitching side. Besides Zach Gallen, all their pitchers are kind of on the fringe. You get good players, you can win the World Series. It's that simple. The last and final division, you know we're heading out to the American League West, getting a start off with the Los Angeles Angels. You're going to need Shohei Otani to not only win the MVP, which might be easier, but also win the Cy Young. The pitching is not strong right there for the Los Angeles Angels. They've grabbed a couple bullpen arms the last few days, which is going to help them. And the rotation's not strong, but if Otani pitches at a Cy Young caliber level and wins the MVP, which also means he's going to be hitting at an MVP level, the Angels have a really good shot to win the World Series. You just don't find players of that much value, along with Mike Trout, Anthony Rendon, David Fletcher. It's a really good team. If Otani is playing at a Cy Young MVP level. The Texas Rangers. Yeah, the Rangers are really bad. You know how they win the World Series? If they play the Pittsburgh Pirates. I seriously can't think of any other way the Rangers win the World Series this year. Only if you play the Pirates in the World Series do I think that they have a shot. So Rangers fans, fingers crossed it's you versus the Pirates in the World Series in 2021 because you'll be coming home with that ring. For the Houston Astros, a really good team, but in order to win the World Series, they're going to need their young pitchers to really step up. We're talking Christian Javier, Jose Urquidy, Brandon Belak, Luis Garcia, Brian Abreu. I mean, these are all guys that are young, ready to be called up, and they need to step up given the opportunity. The Astros are really close. It just depends on that pitcher. For the Oakland A's, this is a team that is right at the fringe of being a playoff contender. In fact, they are a playoff contender. They could possibly win the division. And it always comes down to them as not having enough good players, not having enough to get over that hump once they get to the playoffs. So go out, be aggressive this season. Go get some players at the deadline. Go get another outfielder. Go get a legitimate starting pitcher to complement Jesus Lazardo. Bring Sonny Gray back to Oakland. These are all moves that I think could help the A's win a World Series in 2021. Not too far off. And then for the last and final team, we have the Seattle Mariners. And this one's fun and also painful to me because you know it has to deal with Jared Kelenic. Jared Kelenic and Julio Rodriguez both come up this season and combine for over 65 home runs. If they hit over 65 home runs combined together, the Mariners are going to be feeling really good this year. I mean, that is just some offensive production they haven't seen in a long time. Plus with Kyle Lewis, Taylor Trammell, one of them will be a DH. Why not? All the young talent that they have coming up is going to be great. But Kelenic and Julio Rodriguez come up and combine for 65 plus. They're going to the World Series and they're winning it. I don't care. So that was a different video, a little bit of fun, trying to keep it positive on opening day. It's a new season. Everybody starts off zero and zero. As good as teams or as bad as teams can look on paper, you still have to play the games and that's what makes baseball so great. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You got to play the 162 and the best team always rises to the top at the end to win the World Series. So I wanted to give everybody a little bit of hope. Pirates fans, Rangers fans, Rockies fans, I'm sorry I tried. It's going to be very unlikely, but there's still a scenario where you could do it. So don't say it's not possible just yet. If you guys did enjoy this video a little different, it would really mean a lot to me if you did drop a like on it. That shows a lot of support and it shows me I can do these kind of videos on this channel. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. Get in the comments down below. Let me know how your favorite team is going to be able to win the World Series. Follow me on all my social media links in the description as well as to my podcast. And that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. You guys know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload. Click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Opening day is back. Let's go. And Francisco Lindor is a Met for the next 10 years. Bye.